Good morning, fans of the privateer. Midweek now, we had a little bit of action overnight. Let's quickly dive right into this uh, dollar yen chart. Dollar yen gave us what we wanted, ended up breaking through 110. We started getting short uh, 110.50 yesterday. We did not add last night at 4.30 in the morning. Getting too old for that, I guess. I don't know. But now we are uh, willing players. Uh, we'll be jobbing around dollar yen between uh, 80 and 30 above. Trying to uh, help averages with the idea that we will close below this trend line which comes in around the figure today. There will be nonsense, of course, but um, we're looking for a close below that and the beginning of a very strong, potent dollar yen down trend. Cable, let's just look at that because it was insane. This bar here yesterday, after, after the fix, looked like it was the end of the end of the cable up move. But anyone who sold this one got smacked. 140.50 the high. No idea what to do with cable. Just saying. Wow. A lot of guys went short after that bar, no doubt. That was a little painful Asian session. Euro, uh, same type of, I mean, it wasn't, there was no conviction sell bar in, in Euro. It was just kind of, let's be long, and printed up a high of 34 ECB tomorrow, so, and we're, we're, uh, we're not sure what to do with Euro. We have PMIs today. We get the Flash PMI Services Composite Index from France, Germany, and then the Euro-wide one. The Euro wide one is at 10. The German one, which is most important, is at 9.30. If that, if that stuff is hot, um, you know, the Euro's going to probably go up a little bit more with the idea that maybe Draghi's going to be hawkish tomorrow. But that could be a mover. I, I don't, I'm really, no strong opinions here. The chart doesn't tell me much. This thing could easily go to 124, could easily go back down to 122.50. I really don't know. So, when you don't know, just leave it alone. Dollar Swiss on its knees. Next support, 95.35 to be exact. Yeah, 95.35. Uh, sorry, sorry, that's on the hourlies. Next support. 94.23. This is very, very important support. I imagine it's going to hold. Um, no strong trade here. You know, we waited all week to get through 40. Uh, never did. So we never, we never really got into our long dollar Swiss mode. We're just patiently waiting. Just because it goes lower doesn't mean it's a better buy. This is FX. That doesn't uh, hold true. What else we got out there? Oh, Euro Yen. This is an interesting chart, at least. We got this nice sideways consolidation at the top of the range. From a purely technical perspective, you can sell through 20 and the figure. The story behind that is a little bit trickier. If we get an ECB sources comment today, that would that might be uh, might be something. ECB sources. Say Draghi is a dovish guy, whatever. Um, Aussie quickly did not really give us what we wanted yesterday. Uh, we kill the Aussie through 40. I don't know what's going on here. Aussie yen also kind of gave us what we wanted. We have the bearish engulfing, so we're short Aussie Yen as a core. Obviously, the dollar Yen helped us. But from a chart perspective, Aussie's not looking as bearish as it did. And just because your P&L and dollar Yen is masking your Aussie P&L, 
let's not fall in love with this too much. And if you want to be short Aussie yen, this is a separate trade from being short dollar yen. So careful with that. These kind of like cross days can get a bit convoluted. Anyway, uh, what else is there? Um, cryptos hanging in. A lot of bad news floating around out there. Just hanging in here, 10,700. We like the 95, 85, 75 buy play. Ethereum doing nothing. Alrighty, let's check out these PMIs. Don't forget also UK has employment uh, numbers today. I'll check back in um, at the New York Open and see how we do on this Wednesday, 24th of Jan. Good luck, guys. Ciao.